Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This was this morning's walk. There's the road we take. It was really early this morning. Sun wasn't really up properly. But I like it then, it's, it's cool out, it's quiet. I mean, most of the village was still half asleep. So this morning it was Jasper, Dipper, Harry and Woody. If you enjoy the video today, videos, there will be a few of them. Please could you give us a subscribe, a like if you want to, comments and questions if you have them. I read all of your comments, questions, I answer as many as I can. There were four to start with, more came, as happens. There's the, uh, the neighbor's dog. Harry was behind the pile of sand. Not Harry, Dipper, sorry. Here he comes. They all know where they're going. But the seeing cats, they follow the line. Dipper and Harry, they have to deviate. <laughs> they do it most times. Harry. There's Dipper up on the rise. Harry is around. He was just taking his time. Where's Harry gone? There he is. There's Woody, there's Jasper. Woody and Jasper can both see. Dipper is nearly blind now, and Harry's completely blind. But Harry and Dipper are good friends. And even though they have their disabilities, it doesn't stop them from doing anything. They love being cats. And they do everything that cats can do. Now Harry knew that Grey Cat had arrived. Grey Cat is my biggest cat. Fergus is a close second, but I think size-wise, Grey Cat is bigger. He's huge. And there's Gizmo. One cat don't see very often. Comes in for food and then straight off again. Lives on the mountain. I think Grey Cat does as well. There's Dipper. Now Dipper was heading off. Dipper.
There's a rise here. It goes up about four meters. And Dipper was gonna go up the top there and Harry was going up to meet him. The Dipper appeared further down. But just like Harry knew that Grey Cat had arrived, although he can't see Dipper, he knows Dipper's up there. Hearing, senses, smell. You know, it is fascinating to watch the blind cats when they're out and about. They can pick up on things that I can't. You know, I can see, but their hearing and their sense of smell is far beyond anything that I've got. So there's Harry behind that bush. Now Dipper is going to make his way down. And shortly Harry will follow. Fortunately, at the bottom of some of those rocks, there's a lot of wild olive. Well done, Dipper. And it's it's vicious. Well done. Got a lot load of thorns on it. It cuts through skin easily. Harry, Harry. Harry. Harry didn't get himself entangled in there, but he got to a point where he couldn't go for, well, he couldn't go anywhere. <laughs> and unfortunately this morning, I was wear, only wearing sandals. But eventually I went in there and got him out. He will try. He will keep on trying to get through. But some of that 
stuff is so thick in places that it's it, you need a helping hand. Harry, stay there. He was now in a dead end. So this is when I went in there and got him. <laughs> it's painful. <laughs> oh, it was sharp. Hope you've all enjoyed the video, everyone. There is a lot more to come. I'll get it done, start getting the others done tomorrow. And then we will all see you again, well, tomorrow. Stay well, everyone. Stay there. Way. Way. It's all right, it's all right, it's all right. There you go.